without further ado, I think we'll go into um, listening to our speakers right away and we'll listen to Yuki Tanabe of Jaxis. Yuki. Yuki, uh, please put on your uh, video and your mic. Yes. And everyone, of course, keep your video and mic off and please put your questions in the chat box. Thank you. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, my name is Yuki Tanabe. I work for a Japanese NGO called JAXIS. Uh, we are uh, trying to stop the coal power project, Matarbari coal power project in Bangladesh, because that, uh, the project is funded by Japanese government institutions, JICA. And uh, JICA has already provided the money for the phase one, one of the coal power project. And the JICA is now considering to provide a second, the phase two project also. Uh, the phase one project is uh, is around uh, uh, 700 billion yen. It's around uh, 7 billion US dollar project. Uh, and uh, within that uh, 5 billion US dollar loan uh, will be provided by Japanese government uh, through the ODA loan. Uh, which is the largest uh, amount of the ODA loan for one project in the in the Japanese history. So that is already yeah the uh, the construction has already uh, yeah uh, started uh, several years ago, and uh, will be uh, the operation will be started in 2024. And phase two, unit three and four the similar size of the phase one uh, is under a consideration uh, for technical assistance for feasibility study uh, by Japanese government. Uh, the, the amount is, is like a similar amount loan will be provided uh, for the phase two project. Uh, we are watching the uh, issue mainly uh, through the climate and the human rights issue, but the, today I'm going to explain about the economic aspect of the project. So the first issue is a cost economic uh, comparison between the renewable and uh, <coughs> coal power project. Uh, Carbon Tracker uh, recently published a good report uh, com this is the analysis, comparison analysis between the uh, renewable and the coal power in yeah, the many of, many of countries. And the Bangladesh has already, uh, the renewable is cheaper than coal. Uh, this is the another analysis by uh, the university uh, professor. And uh, the solar has already cheaper than coal in Bangladesh. And especially for Matarbari project, because the uh, Matarbari uh, will be built on the long, long flat beach. And they need uh, to build a, a, a port, deep sea port, uh, along the coal power plant. So that's why the, uh, the cost is very high. Uh, the, yeah, maybe highest in the uh, Bangladesh coal power plant. And the uh, second issue is uh, uh, overcapacity issue. Uh, the government, the Bangladesh government already estimated the uh, reserve margin uh, will be uh, 69 percent maximum. And uh, the total, the uh, reserve margin, actual reserve margin will be uh, uh, high, higher than the uh, projected reserve margin uh, in the next 20 years. The US think tank AIFA uh, published, also published a similar analysis recently. And they also estimated the, uh, the similar amount, the large, similar uh, reserve margin will be uh, happened in the Bangladesh. 
and this uh, problem caused the uh, the budget uh, economic budget issue of the Bangladesh Power Development Board. So the recently uh, the sub the government provided the subsidies for the but. Bangladesh Power Development Board, and recently the uh, the amount of the uh, budget support uh, has been uh, double. Uh, so this is uh, due to the overcapacity issue. In addition to the over the uh, capacity issue, the COVID nineteen will be a uh, uh, additional uh, problem. Uh, on the uh, on this issue, and uh, uh, this is a gap between the a gap of the ge power generation uh, between the last year and this year at the same time, and uh, uh, recently the uh, the twenty around the twenty percent reduction uh, were already happened, so that would be a, a additional serious problem for the. Uh, the Bangladesh energy uh, economy. So IMF uh, estimated the GDP this year is only 2%. Uh, also the inflation rate is 5.5. Uh, uh, 5. So this is a very serious uh, because the, yeah, uh, the, the power project are funded by the foreign donors. So the Bangladesh has to pay uh, the le the uh, interest and uh, uh, of the loan. So that the economic situation uh, is a very serious. So we are targeting uh, the Japanese government to uh, stop the uh, the new uh, JICA loan for the phase two. Uh, because the, this is a this is a timing that uh, the government is now uh, considering to uh, provide a technical assistance for the phase two project. So we have already uh, yeah done a lot, and we published we have already published uh, uh, five reasons why government Japan should not support Matabari phase two project. So please, yeah, check the uh, fact sheet, and if you if you can, you yeah, please send your awareness to the uh, embassy of Japan in Bangladesh. So because they publish the contact email address on their website, so yeah, please, yeah, uh, send your message to and share and share your social media on this issue. Thank you very much.